We explain the 1910 World Series. The 1910 World Series would see two of the most dominating teams of the 1910 season face off against each other. The Chicago Cubs returned from their, for their fourth World Series in five years, having won 104 games, the team of the decade. Connie Mack's Philadelphia Athletics would return to their second World Series, having won 102 games and winning their pennant by 14 games. Both teams hobbled into the series with major injuries. For the Cubs, the series would be played without Evers. The Athletics would play without star hitter Rube Oldring and star pitcher Eddie Plank. Connie Mack was forced to rely on only two pitchers to play the entire series, Jack Coombs and Chief Bender. The series ended up going five games, with the Athletics taking four. The Cubs won one after losing the first three, thanks to a young pitcher named Leonard King Cole, who had won 20 games in the regular season as a 24-year-old rookie. That game ended up in extra innings. However, fate was not the Cubs' dynasty as they would come back to lose Game 5 under three-fingered Brown, giving Jack Combs a third win. The bats of Eddie Collins, Danny Murphy, and Frank Baker were very effective in giving the A's their first series. This series would introduce a cork baseball in secret for one game, flirting with the end of the dead ball era that would come at the end of the new decade. The Cubs' dynastic reign would come to an end, not appearing in the World Series again until 1918, and not winning again until 2016. Baseball entered the new decade full of popularity and as part of the fabric of an America that was on the rise. Hall of Famers from this series would include Connie Mack, Eddie Collins, Frank Baker, Joe Tinker, Eddie Plank, Frank Chance, Chief Bender, and Mordecai Brown.